In the quaint village of Willow's End, nestled at the edge of the foreboding Grimwood Forest, there stood an ancient manor known as Ravenhall. It was a place shrouded in mystery with a history as dark as its name. The villagers spoke of Ravenhall only in hushed tones, for it was said that those who entered its walls were never seen again. Ravenhall had been abandoned for decades, ever since the tragic night when the last lord of the manor, Alastair Ravenwood, and his family met their grim fates under circumstances no one dared to speak of. The manor had since been reclaimed by the wilderness, its once grand facade now a crumbling visage of despair. But on a night when the moon was hidden behind a veil of clouds, casting the world into an abyss of darkness, a light flickered within Ravenhall's highest tower. It was an impossibility that sent a shiver down the spines of all who saw it from the village below. Among the villagers was a young woman named Elise, whose curiosity was as fierce as her will. Against the warnings of her elders, she decided to uncover the truth behind Ravenhall's resurrection. Armed with nothing but a lantern and her determination, Elise set out towards the manor as the clock tower struck midnight. The path to Ravenhall was overgrown, the gnarled branches of the Grimwood Forest reaching out like the fingers of the dead, attempting to ensnare her. Yet Elise pressed on until the manor loomed before her, its silhouette a monument to bygone terror. Midnight. Not a real person, AI-generated voice. The interior of Ravenhall was a grand display of decay. The once opulent furnishings were draped in cobwebs, and the air was thick with the scent of mildew and rot. Elise's footsteps echoed through the halls, each sound a heartbeat in the stillness. She made her way to the tower, guided by the inexplicable light that now seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. The staircase wound upwards like a spiral, a vertiginous climb into the unknown. When she reached the top, Elise found herself in a circular room lined with windows that offered a panoramic view of the Grimwood and the village beyond. In the center of the room, there was an elaborate setup of candles and mirrors arranged in a manner that suggested a ritual of some sort. As Elise approached, she noticed a book on a pedestal, its pages filled with arcane symbols and writings in a language she could not understand. The air around her grew colder, and the whispers intensified, urging her to flee. But it was too late. The candles flared to life on their own, casting an eerie glow that reflected infinitely in the mirrors. The room spun, and Elise felt herself slipping into a trance, her consciousness pulled into the depths of the mirrors. In that moment, she was no longer in Ravenhall but in a shadowy realm where the echoes of the manor's tormented souls wandered aimlessly. She saw the Ravenwood family, their eyes hollow with despair, reliving their last moments over and over. Elise realized that the ritual she had stumbled upon was a gateway, a bridge between the living and the dead, and it had been activated by her presence. She had to find a way to close it before the spirits of Ravenhall could escape into the world. But the spirits had other plans. They sensed Elisa's vitality, her connection to the living, and they swarmed towards her, desperate to claim her life as a means to break free from their eternal prison. The room in the tower began to crumble around her as the barrier between realms weakened. Elise fought to maintain her grip on reality, chanting words from the book that she hoped would seal the gateway. Outside, the villagers of Willow's End watched in horror as Ravenhall was consumed by an otherworldly storm, the manor becoming the epicenter of a vortex that threatened to devour everything. Elise's voice rose above the chaos, her words a beacon of hope in the darkness. The spirits recoiled, their forms dissolving into the ether as the gateway began to close. With a final burst of will, Elise uttered the last incantation and the light in the tower extinguished. The storm abetted and Ravenhall fell silent once more. When the villagers dared to approach the manor at dawn, they found no trace of Elise. Ravenhall stood as it had for decades, an empty shell devoid of light. Yet on some nights, when the wind howls through the Grimwood Forest and the moon casts its pale light upon the world, a solitary figure can be seen in the highest tower of Ravenhall, watching over the village with a lantern in hand. And so, the legend of Elise, the brave soul who faced the horrors of Ravenhall, became another whisper in the tapestry of stories that surrounded the manor. Her fate remained a mystery, but her courage lived on, a reminder that some places are best left to the shadows and some doors should never be opened. As the villagers of Willow's End whispered tales of Elisa's bravery, the world beyond the Grimwood Forest remained oblivious to the events that had transpired at Ravenhall. But the echoes of that fateful night had stirred something ancient in the woods, something that had been slumbering in the shadows, waiting for a sign. Weeks turned into months, and the villagers noticed a change in the forest. Animals that once frolicked in the meadows now skirted the edges of the Grimwood with wide, fearful eyes. The trees themselves seemed to lean away from the manor, their branches trembling as if in silent scream. A group of intrepid villagers, led by the blacksmith's son, Thomas, decided to seek out the truth. 
They could not let the mystery of Elisa's disappearance remain unsolved and the unease that had settled over Willow's end needed to be lifted. Armed with lanterns and courage bolstered by the light of day, they ventured into the forest, making their way toward the silent sentinel that was Ravenhall. The manor stood as it always had, its presence a cold weight in the heart of the woods. As they entered the manor, Thomas felt the air shift as if the very walls were holding their breath. The group made their way to the tower, the scene of Elisa's last stand against the spirits. The room was as she had left it, the candles melted down to stubs, the mirrors cracked and covered in a fine layer of dust. Thomas approached the book on the pedestal, the pages now blank, the arcane symbols and writings gone as if they had never been. He reached out to touch it, but before his fingers could graze the paper, a chill wind swept through the room, snuffing out their lanterns and plunging them into darkness. Midnight. Not a real person, AI-generated voice. Panic set in as the group scrambled to relight their lanterns, but when the flames flickered to life once more, they revealed that Thomas was no longer among them. Instead, in his place stood a figure shrouded in a cloak of emerald green. It was Elise. Her eyes, once bright with curiosity, now glowed with an ethereal light. She spoke of her time in the realm of spirits, of the knowledge she had gained and the price she had paid. Elise had become a part of Ravenhall, a guardian bound to the manor as surely as Orion had been to the Whispering Woods. She explained that the ancient entity in the forest had been awakened by the disturbance at Ravenhall. It was an old one, a being from a time before the memory of man, and it sought to claim the forest and the lands beyond for its own dark purposes. Elise had returned to warn them to seek their help in a battle that was to come. The villagers would need to stand together, for the old one's power was rooted in the fear and despair it sowed. The villagers, with Elise as their guide, prepared for the confrontation. They fortified the village, set wards around the forest's edge, and gathered every bit of lore and knowledge that might aid them. Elise taught them the ancient runes and spells that could protect their homes and their loved ones. As the night of the new moon approached, the air grew thick with anticipation. The villagers, once simple farmers and craftsmen, now stood as warriors in defense of their home. Elise took her place at the forefront, her connection to the spirit realm a beacon of hope. The old one emerged from the grimwood, its form shifting and writhing in the moonless night, a nightmare made flesh. The forest seemed to bend to its will, the trees groaning in agony as it passed. The battle was fierce, the air crackling with the energy of spells and the clash of wills. Elise channeled the spirits of Ravenhall, their combined strength of force to match the old one's might. The villagers fought with a bravery that would be sung of for generations, their determination unwavering even in the face of such ancient evil. The old one, surprised by the resistance, roared in fury, its power lashing out to break the spirits of those who dared oppose it. But Willow's end would not fall. As the struggle reached its climax, Elise called upon the very essence of Ravenhall, the memories and strength of all who had dwelled within its walls. With a final, desperate incantation, she bound the old one, sealing it away deep within the grimwood, its malice contained for now. The forest quieted, the malevolence that had plagued it receding like the tide. The villagers, though weary, had triumphed, and as the first rays of dawn broke over the horizon, they knew that their village would stand safe once more. Elise, her task complete, returned to Ravenhall. She had become more than a princess, she was the protector of Willow's End, the bridge between the living and the dead, the keeper of ancient secrets. And so, the legend of Elise and the Battle of the Grimwood was woven into the fabric of the kingdom's history. Ravenhall, once a place of horror, became a symbol of courage and sacrifice, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the light of hope can never be extinguished.